247 Tech here and today I have the new Canon PowerShot ELPH 350 HS here for unboxing. Now this is a camera that I bought for myself to do behind the scenes uh, stuff with and like you know uh, I have a big video coming out soon so keep on the lookout for that but this is the main camera that I bought for like you know behind the scenes and I may even start doing vlogs like I kind of hinted that I'll start doing Goodwill vlogs and stuff like that. So this is the main reason I bought this camera. So I went with this camera because I thought the specs were pretty cool. It has 20, 20 megapixel camera. It has 12 optical zoom and 4 digital zoom and a 3 inch display. So let's get to it. Let me show y'all. Uh, so it is Wi-Fi certified. Uh, so if we turn it over onto the back right here, it just says that uh, you can visit the Canon website and all that kind of good stuff. I thought it would give the specs on the back but not like a phone. It comes with the phone. Uh, I mean it comes with the camera. Uh, a wrist strap, battery charger, and a battery pack. Now, the cool thing with this is I bought this for $159, and it came with two things. It came with a 8 gigabyte memory card, and it also came with a low pro case. So, it came with two bonus things, and it was marked off $50, so I think it was a good deal. I'm not sure if it was or not, but I thought so it was, so I went ahead and grabbed it. So, let's go ahead and unbox this. So opening it up, be sure it's in the shop. Uh, we have the Can Canon Limited Warranty, so I believe we're probably like a one year warranty. Uh, we have the Canon Register now, all the kind of manuals, so pretty cool. Underneath here we have this little tray to protect everything. And then right here we have the camera, which I'm going to go ahead and put it to the side for right now. In here we have a battery. It's a pretty small battery. I wonder how long this battery lasts. I didn't really look into that aspect of it, but hopefully this battery does last long. We have the strap, so this will definitely come in handy so I don't drop it. And last but not least, we have the uh, charging pack. So I'm going to go ahead and put all this to the side, put the battery into the camera, and I'll see y'all just in a Alright guys, so I went ahead and installed the battery into the camera. So the camera is now ready to go, so we're going to power it on for the first time. So we have the on and off button, the lens popped out. And then it's going to go ahead and tell me to set the time and date, and already we're running out of charge. So definitely not a good thing right there. Uh, today is 12.15. Oh. Okay, I think I just skipped that. And we're in the United States. Uh, I guess this would be kind of Chicago time. So, okay. So I just went ahead and quickly just uh, went ahead and just did everything. So definitely it seems like, I'm not sure if it's kind of to me, but right now I have to put, mess with the settings. Or depending on the way it's pointed, because if I point it to the right, it's different. But uh, it seems kind of fuzzy to me right now. Hopefully that does kind of fix it up. Not really what I was looking for. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw the case right there and try to see. I can't take a picture of anything right now because there is no memory card. But overall, it seems like it's an okay camera. Because if I point it off to the side, it's not that fuzzy anymore. Hopefully that fixes it up. If it keeps doing that, and I'll let y'all know. And I'll definitely go switch out the camera or I'll go find another one. Overall, to me, this camera does seem a little bit cheap quality overwise. Uh, I was kind of like, you know, if you feel it in your hand, it's very light. And it's mostly plastic all around. So I'm kind of worried about that also, that if I drop this, if I'm going to break it or not. Uh, we have the LCD, which is already getting marked up by my hands. We have the record button, the play button. Over, We have the uh, zoom in, zoom out, on, off button. And we also have the front shutter with the lens popping out. So, and we also have the flash right there. So definitely I'll let y'all know how this camera works out for me. Not sure if I'm gonna keep it, but hopefully that fuzz goes away. I was kind of disappointed in that fuzz, but it was like a brief overview. I couldn't really do a detailed review, but if y'all want me to do a detailed review, definitely let me know in the comments below. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. A lot of new content is about to come out, uh, and also a new video, big new video. Uh, definitely, and also, we're almost to 3,000 subscribers, so I mean, if y'all get there, I'm, I'm hoping we get there before Christmas so I can do like a big giveaway for Christmas, but uh, I believe we're like 70 subscribers away, so if y'all definitely can do that, that would be cool, uh, but other than that, guys, like this video if you enjoyed, other than that, guys, thank you for watching, take care, see y'all later.